Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots with Rate It Green, and today I'm going to talk to you about windows indoors, specifically Marvin windows indoors. Um, they went recently went through a rebranding exercise, and they went from several different lines, and now everything is branded as Marvin. So if you're familiar with all Ultrex or the Integrity line, they are now just called simply Marvin. We've got clips from the International Builder Show where their product reps are going to explain the details of each line and the benefits of each line as well. So the first line is the signature line and this is their standard line that they had before. Before they just called it Marvin Windows. And so if you just ordered a Marvin window before, now it's a modern signature and it's part of their ultimate collection. And also as part of the signature series, they've added modern. So to compete with storefront and some of these European style windows, they've got a modern collection as well. Um, the other two lines that they have, one is called Essential. So Essential line was the all Ultrex, where it's the all fiberglass line of windows. And this is gonna be fiberglass from one side to the other. Now the, the other line that they used to have, which was, which, which was called Integrity, is now called Elevate. So Elevate is the fiberglass window with a wood, veneer on the inside so from the inside it looks like a wind, wood window but has all the benefits of a fiberglass as far as energy efficiency and durability that was a quick explanation of the three different lines we have marvin rips on standby to explain the specifics of each of those four different types of windows we're going to go into detail on the signature ultimate and signature modern collection as well All right, Kevin, we've looked at two of the window lines and finally we've got the Signature Series. What's the difference about the Signature Series and the Ultrax Series? Yeah, so the main difference is this was where the, this is where the brand started, right? It started with a wood window. It evolved into a, an aluminum clad exterior, which is I'm showing an example and I'm standing in front of one of our largest sizes we have available in our Signature Collection as a double hung. The unit I'm standing in front of happens to be five feet wide, 10 feet tall. So one of the nice things about the Signature Collection, it really shows our capabilities in terms of design flexibility um, and one of the main differences is when you look at this product compared to the others is that one there's a lot of traditional sight lines so those individuals who like the look of a traditional wood window without the maintenance of, of a traditional wood window um, you're doing with a, a what we refer to as an extruded aluminum so that's one of the things that's unique about us is that we do extruded frame and sash and then we have a commercial grade finish that comes standard on our product. A lot of our competitors will offer that as an optional upgrade, um, but we offer that standard. So you're getting superior performance, the look of a traditional wood window. Um, and then with this particular one that I'm showing here as an example, um, you've got the beauty of the wood. So the one thing with the Signature Collection is you have 19 standard colors. You have multiple wood species options. You have multiple stain grade options, paint options. So again, that breadth of design flexibility um, and really almost limitless possibilities. The, the, the one thing I always say to our customers and architects is, is if we can't warranty it and we don't feel like it'll perform, we're probably not going to build it, but we're going to give it our best and, and, and do everything we can to, to fit your design needs. Got it. Let's talk about the cladding. You mentioned this yep. is an extruded aluminum. And why is this better than the competition, which is using more of a roll form aluminum? So the real thing is it really comes down to durability, right? So no matter what climate you live in, you have the, that possibility during the construction phase. Obviously, once the home is, is completely finished, you're going to have that opportunity for hail, windborne debris, the installation, probably the handling. The extruded aluminum, the easiest way I, I refer to people is it's essentially the thickness, the minimum thickness of a quarter. You can see the thickness here. A roll form aluminum product is essentially going to be about the thickness of a soda can. So we all know which is going to be more durable. So when you come up to a product that has a roll form aluminum, I would never feel comfortable banging on that window. Um, so that's one of the things we pride ourselves in is, that, is that, that material choice and the design that goes into that is really what really speaks to us as an organization and that extruded aluminum with that commercial grade finish. Um, this product can be used in commercial applications for the right product, but it's also a residential product because we put that quality into every product we build. So speaking of commercial and residential, so with this type of design, as we talked about the other windows, how does this keep water out? So there's a combination of obviously thermal breaks, there's a combination of weather stripping. Um, so all that is done. The one thing that's really unique about our product, and this is across all collections, is that we take the time and we make the investment in third party verifying all of our products, which is really different because a lot of our competitors will in-house test those products and they will 
they will uh, advertise those performance grades. So we're, we're talking about structure, water, and air. Um, we take the, the extra step to have all of our product third parties certified so that when a, an architect, a homeowner, a builder looks at that, they know that it's somebody else who's backing that claim up and a lot of our competitors don't do that. And there's inherent value in the, those things that we do um, in terms of that water management, air infiltration, structural, all that goes into the design of the product. All right, let's talk about the coating and the durability of the finish. What is what is this coated with and how do you guys test that? Yeah, so the, 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 the technical term is a Kynar 2605. That's a technical industry term. Um, and there's different levels of that 2600 finish. There's a 2603, 04, and 05 finish. The 2605 is the highest industry standard that's available in the market. So it goes through a battery of tests um, in terms of impact, fading, chalking, all these things that are going to be real in the real world. So if you're living in the farmlands of Kansas, if you're in Southern California or on the East Coast, you're going to be susceptible to something. So we put the highest grade available finish and that's the only finish we use. And so a lot of times we ask our, you know, we, when we look at people that are looking at our products, we just ask them to care, look at those details um, because oftentimes that's overlooked and not talked about, but that's the quality we build into our product standard every day. And Kynar is the finish they use on roof, most roofing materials, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a commercial. It's a commercial application. Um, we've been using it for over 20 years. That's why, with our product and this particular product, we offer a 20-year finish warranty on our signature product um, because we believe that much in the finish in terms of the durability, the quality, and all those things that go into it. Um, and we're, we're again, we're, we're doing that as a standard in our products. So even this is a wood core interior. We don't have to worry about painting this every five years then. No, when you look at the, it's designed to look like a traditional wood window on the outside without the maintenance uh, of that product. So again, you, you know, is it to say that you're never going to have to wipe those windows down or dust them periodically, right? Sure, but in terms of uh, high maintenance, absolutely not. All right, thanks, Kevin. Thanks for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello, everyone here. I'm with Kevin Klein with Marvin, and Marvin recently has rebranded some of their series, and he's going to talk to us about the Elevate series and what makes an Elevate window and door, and also some of the pros and cons of these. Thanks for having us today. I appreciate it. Welcome to the booth. Uh, we're having a great show, the third day at IBS. It's been a great show, great traffic. Um, yeah, so I've got to talk a little bit about the uh, Elevate collection, formerly known as the Integrity Woodall Trex. Uh, that brand was introduced to the Marvin Brands of uh, Collections in 1994. Um, we're one of the leaders and the pioneers in the fiberglass. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but it's one of the three collections within the Marvin family. Um, we've recently rebranded under one brand. Um, so when you walk around the booth today, you'll see Essential, you'll see Elevate, you'll see our signature brand, and that's all under one Marvin brand. Um, and really, it, it's talking about our heritage and our history. Um, what's really unique about the, uh, the Elevate collection is that what makes this unique from competitors that you might see is that you have the, the technology, the durability, the efficiency uh, of the fiberglass. So that, our trade name for that is called Ultrex, and it's a pull-treated fiberglass, incredibly highly durable high strength to weight ratio. So from a building perspective, it's a great material. Um, and then it complements the product with a wood interior. Uh, it's a standard as a, as a pine interior. Um, you have the ability to have that stained or painted to, to whatever your customer's needs are. Um, but you combine the strength and the beauty of the fiberglass, the beauty of the wood, uh, high performance glass. And really that's one of the main things that differentiates us from our competition is there's really nobody out there that has what we have in terms of the poultry to fiberglass with the acrylic cap, with the wood interior. There's other composite materials, but nothing really like the Elevate collection. Got it. So one thing that I see here, obviously you've got a um, cutaway here so you can see what the window's made out of. If you didn't have this cutaway in from the street, people couldn't tell that it's fiberglass. No, absolutely. In fact, when you look at the exterior of the product, it looks like a traditional wood window. And we did that specifically. Our heritage is a 108 year old company. Uh, we were known as a wood window and door manufacturer historically. Um, and one of the things as we evolved this brand with the Elevate collection is that people still like the look of wood. But we incorporated this technology with the Ltrex or the pulsated fiberglass, which gave you the look of wood but the durability of fiberglass, the low maintenance aspect of it, and then the complement of the wood to the inside. Just, there's still a lot of people who want that warmth and beauty on the inside of their home. So I do like that wood look on the inside. Is there any way that water is going to get to that? No, the interesting part is, and it's, it's difficult, uh, but you can, and when you look at a cross section, one of the things we do to increase the strength and the performance of that product is that we have corner keys that are put together in the product on the sash. So that's going to be the operating portion of the window and the frame. And then those are injected with sealants. So 
there's no way for water to penetrate back into the unit. And the way that this product is adhered, you have the fiberglass, it's actually, um, the way it's bonded, there's no way for the water to penetrate back to the wood, so you shouldn't have any concerns um, from that product uh, having any issues of water infiltration performance. Got it. Also, so what is the warranty in a window like this? Yeah, so the warranty on this product is going to be 20 years on the glass, and that's free from manufacturer's defects, and then it's a 10-year comprehensive bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. And then we, one of the things we do that's unique compared to some of our comp competition is that part of that is that if it's product-related, um, we have a five-year labor warranty as well that we cover, which is almost unheard of in any industry, but sp specifically in the window and door industry, um, that's something that differentiates us from our competition. Uh, this is, I like this window, and um, it, it, you've got the you've got the the twenty year warranty uh, on the uh, on the glass. But these these are still rated to last fifty plus years, though. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And really, it all it, there's so many different environmental conditions and elements, right? So there's but we believe in the test of time. The technology we're using is thirty plus years of technology, so it's proven technology. Again, you're you're getting that backed by a hundred year a uh, hundred year plus company. Uh, so absolutely, it, it, you could absolutely pr uh, promote it and sell it as a fifty year plus product. Absolutely. Got it. So also we have different options here. You can go with uh, a white and then how many other different colors do you have for the inside and the outside? So in, on this thing, you can see that there are six different colors. Uh, those are standard colors. Those are factory colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, that's an acrylic uh, cap finish. So it's different than a painted finish. It's a very highly durable uh, finish. And then you can, if the, the, the nice thing about fiberglass is it is a paintable material. So if somebody really wants to do their own custom color or change the color, uh, that does not void the warranty. Um, and the nice thing about fiberglass, it's a very stable material. So you've got a good high quality finish over that. If you wanted to change that color or do a custom color, no problem. On the inside, you're gonna have the, the clear, the bare, a white pre-finish from the factory and then a black uh, finish from the factory. The black we're seeing incredibly uh, a spike in demand over the last several years. Um, probably one of our biggest uh, sellers is the black interior. Absolutely. Okay, thanks Kevin. Let's go look at the next series. All right, great, thank you. Hello everyone, I'm here with Brenda with Marvin and she's gonna talk to us about their new modern series. Good morning, thank you. Um, we do have a new line that we've been releasing over the past year, which is called Modern. It's a very different product for us that we've brought forward. It's a fiberglass uh, exterior and an aluminum interior. We have a full line we're developing. We have multi-slides, direct lays, casement product. Uh, we have some awnings and we're bringing out more product as we go. So we're standing in front of this beautifully designed casement push-out window right now. And you can see by the really nice, clean, thin lines that we've taken a lot of attention to detail in making sure that even the screen does not impede the daylight opening. Um, the screen got as much as attention as the window, and for reasons of keeping that clean, keeping it consistent, and making sure that we are matching profiles across the uh, product line to make it really easy for the builder to specify. So you can see with the casement um, product, it swings open. The actual hardware on the inside is concealed, and it gives it that really beautiful, clean look that uh, people are after in the modern design. All right, so this compared to, say, the Elevate, can you get this thin of a profile and Elevate? Yes, you can, and a lot of times, well, actually, the Essential line is a lot of times what gets paired with Modern because it's similar materials with fiberglass, interior and exterior on Essential, and we have the fiberglass here. Uh, it blends seamlessly. Got it. So with the Marvin, like, what can you, with the Modern version, like, what can you do with this you can't do with the other lines? Um, actually, with this line, we're really focused on scale. So we want to make sure that we're, we're living that value and purpose of our company and bringing those, those natural lights in, uh, being able to help people live better in their homes and experience as much daylight as possible. Oh, so, is that, so basically these allow more light in than, than some of the other lines? Absolutely, yes. We can take um, this from a very, very small window all the way up to a very large window to scale uh, to be able to maximize that daylight. All right, so what all my architect friends want to know, how big can we make one of these operable panes and fixed panes? Um, actually, this particular unit, we can go about three and a half feet wide or seven feet tall, or about three feet wide and approximately seven and a half feet. So it, it's a pretty substantial window for an operating window. Um, the door products, of course, we can go much larger, up to 65 feet wide, all the way up to 12 feet tall. Oh. So, so for, for, for an individual operating pane on the door, so how far can you, how, if you're going 12 feet tall, how can you go in just one operable pane on the door? An operable panel, we can go 6 feet wide by 12 feet tall. Okay. Or we could do an 8 by 10, it just depends on the glass orientation. So basically the main difference between these and the other ones, you've got the fiberglass outside, 
with aluminum cladding on the inside, where the other ones are either wood or fiberglass on the outside. Exactly. Or, or the aluminum cladding. Yep, the aluminum cladding. And, and the nice part about this line is that nothing changes. If you were to order a smaller unit to the bigger unit, everything's going to stay consistent. It's all going to be exactly the same style and rail profile with each one. Okay, is there anything else about the modern line that um, we should know about? Um, yes, we released some new mulling options so that we can create some really large assemblies. Uh, we have assemblies that we can create um, over here up to 16 to 17 feet tall that uh, really look like a, a large commercial space that people might be gravitating towards. Uh, also, again, with those really clean lines to be able to utilize modern with, and the color palette. Uh, the color palette blends well with modern design and we've really curated that and brought a, a low gloss finish in to make sure that uh, we're not creating any distraction with inside the building. So currently how many different colors are available in this line? Uh, we have five different colors in modern. Um, we can mix and match finishes from the interior to the exterior. Uh, so we have gunmetal, we have a, a bronze, a black, a stone white, and then a clear anodized finish as well. Okay. All right, thank you, Brenda. Thank Thanks you. for your time. All right, Kevin, we just got finished looking at all of the different parts that you have to do to make an Elevate window. So we've got Essential here. So can you explain the difference between Essential and Elevate? Yeah, so the big difference between the Essential and the Elevate is that we're looking at a product here that is an all fiberglass product. So fiberglass exterior, fiberglass interior. And the reason we developed that product is because we were, we were getting a lot of requests from customers who liked the performance of the fiberglass, but they perhaps didn't want a wood window to the inside. So this is a great alternative for those customers who are looking for a non-wood window. So this is going to be a fiberglass interior, fiberglass exterior. Again, the same fiberglass, that same Ultrex material on the inside and the outside, highly durable, um, high strength to weight ratio, incredibly efficient. A low expansion contraction rate, so you're going to get great performance, great overall operation. Um, and again, this just gives people the flexibility to say, I like the narrow profiles. The profiles, when you look at the Elevate and the Essential, they're a little different. Um, so some people really like that because they're maximizing their daylight opening. Um, and as we evolve as an organization, more and more people are looking at ways to capture that natural lighting. And people really like the uh, Essential Collection because that's one way to really maximize your daylight views. Um, and again, it's a paintable product. Um, it comes in the same colors that the Elevate Collection comes in. Um, we have some interior colors, again, that are options that you can do. It's a paintable product. The same warranty from the, the, the uh, Elevate Collection has 20 years uh, on the glass, 10 years overall in that five-year labor warranty, which, again, is, is an industry best. And, again, the thing I, I, I think that I talk about with people is that when you think about our collection, that you've got three collections under one brand that's been in business, family-owned and operated for over 100 years. Well, it seems like this one kind of has that storefront window look without the downsides of a storefront, because the storefront's going to let a lot of heat gain through the actual aluminum, unless there's a thermal break. All this is, this whole frame is a thermal break. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the real things that we talk about when we're talking to the design community, the builder community, the homeowners, is that performance. So you're, if you're in the coldest climates of northern Minnesota, or if you're in the southern heat of Texas, you've got that incredible efficiency that comes with the uh, and the performance of fiberglass over materials like some of those other materials, like an aluminum, thermally broken even, a vinyl material. Um, this is a really, really superior performing product when it comes to building material. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and let us know in the comments section below which of these lines you plan to use on your project or would like to know more information about. I've got a lot of experience with these windows on my projects and can definitely give them a thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, uh, let's give a thumbs up to our presenters for giving their time to create this video. And we've got some additional videos off to the right. Make sure to look at those as they load up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. Great, see you next time.